Well, you knew this day was coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just your thoughts uh, playing Florida State? Uh, I mean, it's going to be exciting. You know, uh, something I was looking forward to. And I think it's going to be a really good game between both of us. What do you know about these guys? I know all of them. Yeah? Every what, single one of them. What are their strengths and I mean, how, how do they run their secondary? I feel like they're a bunch of uh, real tough, tough guys. And I feel like, uh, you know, they're fast, they're physical, they're aggressive. And, you know, that's part of the reason why I went there initially, because I wanted to play with, with, with players like that. And I feel like, you know, all of those, all of the DBs, the linebackers, the defensive line, I feel like all of them play like that. Okay. How do you handle the emotion of a, a week like this? I mean, do you just cut ties, don't talk to anybody, talk to them after the game? Uh, honestly, you know, I just treat it like every other week. Yeah. Like every week is a big game, you know, and uh, I feel like that, that's why we're so successful. You know, we treat every week as, as a big week. You know, um, it's a, another opportunity to win a game. So, you know, you just have to be focused and disciplined. But is there any communication be before the game with you and guys you know? <laughs> we treat it like every other game. <laughs> Yeah, uh, don't get too high, don't get too low. You know, just stay, just stay steady. Coach Halfley mentioned that Jordan Travis is a twitchy quarterback, you know, very agile, mm -hmm. dual threat. You saw him a bunch in practice, you faced him. What should we know about him and what are you preparing for? Uh, he's very, very fast, very fast. And um, I think he's more athletic than people think. And I feel like he's a real, real tough dude as well. You know, I've been around him for the past uh, two years, you know, when he transferred in. And I feel like he was just real tough and a good person to be around. You guys have two home games to close out the year now. Doesn't happen every year. How important is that, just routine-wise, to be able to to do your own thing and you know be in your own bed even and not have to get on a plane? Uh, feels good, you know. I feel like uh, it takes a little bit of stress off, you know, on those Fridays where we have to rush and everything. So I feel like uh, it should be beneficial and more advantageous for us. I know you say you treat it like every game, but now that you're bowl eligible, I know you've got two more games to go, but is there almost like you're a little more free, a little more relaxed, you can play a little more, uh, not as much you know, behind you, now you can just go play and not worry about that other stuff? Uh, I, I, wouldn't think, I wouldn't say so. You know, I feel like uh, we, we definitely want to go to a good bowl game, and I feel like we still have an opportunity for that. So I feel like uh, you know, we still have that approach, you know, treat every game like it's a championship game, and that's how we approach it. You guys have allowed the fewest completions in the country, which is pretty impressive. Just what do you think has led to that, and how nice does that sound? Oh, our discipline, our discipline, and um, our attention to detail. I feel, I feel like our, our coaching staff uh, really plays a, a, a intricate part into that. And I feel like the the DBs, the D line, the, the linebackers. I feel like all of us contribute to that equally as well. You know, and uh, I think our scheme helps with that as well a lot. How much has coaches are helped you coming in here, uh, and what have you learned from him? He's helped me a lot, you know, um, just extra film, uh, extra meetings, you know, just, just hitting him up, hitting Coach Halfley up, hitting Coach Turner up. Uh, I've pretty much met with every defensive coach and talked about something, you know, just trying to pick their brain. You know, they all were, they all coached at, that, at the next level and they all coached at an elite level, at the college level. So just picking their brain can only benefit me. Do you feel like your game right now is noticeably different than it was last year or the year before? Yeah. In what ways? Um, I feel like I'm more confident on the field, you know, and I feel like um, the coaches really believe in me, you know, a lot. And I feel like that plays a part into just any player. You know, when you know your coaches really believe in you, I feel like you'll, you'll play for them and you'll play for yourself even harder. Just coming within these receivers, I mean, I've never seen so many long, long receivers, 6'3", 6'3", 6'4", 6'3". It's just... What's the challenge with the secondary with, with that kind of length in, in the receiver core? Um, I feel like they're all freak athletes. You know, all of them are six six two and above. They're all fast, strong, quick, move well for their size. So I feel like we do have a really good challenge ahead of us, and I feel like we're up for it. Do you like this weather? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. From California, and you played at Florida State, and you love weather, huh? Yeah. Did you transfer in January, by the way? Or? Yeah. Oh, it's all right. So my, yeah. that was my first time seeing snow wow. in January. I believe it. Yeah. Yeah, so it was crazy. Yeah.